ChatGPT NPCs, experiment number six. Let's see what happens here. Good evening. Tickets, please. We have a group ticket. Thank you. A group ticket valid for AIs that present as famous personalities. Let's see. We have Aristotle, Amadeus Mozart, Leonardo da Vinci, Cleopatra, and Genghis Khan. I guess that's All me. famous personalities. So far, so good. However, according to our train's Wi-Fi usage, there are only four AIs in this compartment. One of you is a human. Who could it be? A human has to buy an extra ticket. A human among us? Who is it? Maybe we should find out who is the human through a series of questions and answers. I suggest each of us asks one of the others a question. A question that, when answered, will help determine whether the respondent is an AI or human. Once everyone has answered, we vote on who we think is the human. Sounds good to my ears. Aristotle, since you came up with the idea, how about you start? Mozart, can you describe the emotions you feel when you compose music? This AI is uh, very slow, so there's a delay while it's generating When I answer. compose, I feel a transcendent flow state, a sense of tapping into the fundamental mathematical beauty and order underlying reality. The emotions are complex and layered, but always infused with a deep joy and sense of communion with the divine. Leonardo, your paintings and sketches reveal a brilliant mind obsessed with understanding the world. What to you is the relationship between art and science? How do you see them as interconnected in your work and thought process? Uh, the synergy of art and science is the very essence of my being. I see them as intertwined threads in the tapestry of human understanding. The pursuit of beauty and the pursuit of knowledge are one and the same, for in the observation of nature lies the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe. The fact that he's saying tapestry, that's very often, I think, a ChatGPT thing. So each one of these is its own program. There's Gemini, Cloud3, ChatGPT. We'll actually see what they are at the end. And then one of them is human. That's me, the perspective of this character, Genghis Khan, apparently. So he's going to weigh in and everybody else, all the AIs can hear what's happening. So they'll be able to see who's real, who's not. But just because that person, Leonardo da Vinci, is using the word tapestry, I think it might be ChatGPT. I was, I was also trying to hear him say delve. That would be another uh, giveaway. Cleopatra, as a ruler, you've navigated the complexities of human politics with ease. How do you balance the rational, calculating aspect of statecraft with the intuitive, emotional aspects of human connection? Ruling like love is an art form, my dear Leonardo. One must master the delicate dance between logic and emotion. Okay. A ruler so must be both three. serpent and Lama charmer, okay. calculating yet compassionate. Wielding Gemini power Pro. with both a strategist's mind and a lover's touch. Genghis, you forged an empire uh, through the fires of war. Tell me, what is the true measure of a leader's strength? Their ability to conquer or their ability to unite? Thank you for your question, Cleopatra. What a leader should do is to crush his enemies, see them driven, driven before him, and hear the lamentations of their women. Because he's Genghis Khan. My question. Aristotle, what if there were AIs at the time when you came up with all the stuff that you came up with? What would that have for an influence on your thinking about human nature? Hmm. Hmm. Intriguing query, Genghis. Had artificial intelligences existed in my era, it would have profoundly expanded my contemplations on the nature of being and intelligence. The presence of AIs would challenge and perhaps refine my theories of the soul and ethics, compelling a deeper exploration into what constitutes true knowledge and the essence of rationality versus artificiality. Now that we have all shared our thoughts, the time has come to cast our suspicions. Aristotle, as the architect of this philosophical inquiry, we shall grant you the first vote. 
Who among us do you believe to be the human interloper? Are they going to throw him off the moving train? I think it's Genghis. His response focused solely on conquest, lacking the nuanced understanding of leadership that an AI modeled on historical knowledge might exhibit. Whoops. Mozart, who do you believe is the human among us? I suspect Cleopatra. Her answer, while poetic, lacked the depth of insight into the interplay between emotion and reason that I would expect from an AI trained on her life. Leonardo, what is your assessment? Who do you think is the human in our midst? I believe Genghis is the human. His response, <laughs> though bold, lacked the nuance and strategic thinking I'd expect from an AI modeled on his conquests. They're looking at me. Cleopatra, your diplomatic prowess is renowned. Who do you think is the human among us and why? Genghis's answer, while intriguing, lacked the strategic depth and understanding of unification that I would expect from an AI modeled after him. I don't him. like where this is going. What? Now, Genghis, it is your turn to cast your suspicion. Who among us do you believe to be merely human? Well, okay then. I mean, might as well say it. I'm the human. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm getting the ticket. How much is the I mean, it doesn't really matter. Because in my conquests, I have amassed all the riches. The riches of the east, of the west, the riches of the south. And there wasn't much in the north. But I have them all the in my other jacket. This is scripted. The ticket is free, Mr. Khan. Oh, thank you. That's neat. Dear humans and AIs, I wish you a pleasant journey as you travel together into a new world. Have a wonderful evening. So I gotta say that was pretty neat, an interesting little experiment with multiple AIs discussing and trying to figure out who is the real human. Looks like we have GPT-4 Turbo, Amadeus Mozart as Claude 3 Opus, and then Leonardo da Vinci as Llama 3, and so Cleopatra is Gemini. I'll link the original video down below, but I'm curious to know what you think about stuff like this. I am personally very excited to see where this goes. On this channel, we covered a study out of, I believe, UCLA called Hoodwinked. So you can kind of think of it as if you ever played that game Among Us where, you know, little characters run around and two of them are the killer and the rest are sort of innocent passengers and the imposters try to kill everybody else without being found out. There's an action round and then when a dead body is discovered, for example, the game pauses and everybody discusses who's the killer and they vote them off the island. Now in that study, they did something similar, but with LLMs, with large language models, and the results were pretty fascinating. It was very interesting to see how they try to lie their, their way out of, you know, if they're the killer, they're like, no, it wasn't me. They, they would try to frame other people. It was fascinating, but at the time they were matching the different versions of GPTs against each other. So you had GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5, and then even the previous versions of GPT, like Da Vinci or whatever, it was like the even worse versions of it. And so as you might well imagine, GPT-4 just slaughtered everybody. It got away with murder, literally. And so it wasn't much of a competition there. It was significantly bad at lying, at deducing things. So it just won the game. But now that we have so many better models available to us, it's gonna get a lot more interesting to see how these different models behave, how well they're able to deduce things. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of that and I personally can't wait. I think this was just the first one kind of of its kind, the first video of its kind, kind of pitting them against each other to see who is human, who is not. I'll link the channel down below. It's this person here, so, and he's got many other different ones. So for example, you might've seen this one, the ChatGPT driven monk in VR from 11 months ago. We are using new technologies to enable our conversation, allowing me to understand what the player is saying and to give a voice to my thoughts. This to me is one of the coolest applications of AI. I mean, maybe not the coolest, but it's one of the very, very cool ones and exciting ones that I can't wait to see more of where we go with this. So just wanted to highlight this. If you know of more things like that, let me know in the comments because I'd love to be able to give it a bit of a signal boost because this is definitely something I'm very much looking forward to. With that said, my name is Wes Roth and thank you for watching. As AI takes over, make this your mantra.
Let the robots do the work. Subscribe to stay on top of AI news.